Hi, I'm Kel from Promenade, and I'm excited because today I'm going to show you how to install the new Promenade Sprocket Lock Adjustable Post Base. Promenade Sprocket Lock Post Base is available in a number of colors to match our Promenade Schedule 40 aluminum pipe. So you can use a silver, black, or architectural bronze base with the corresponding pipe to make a vertical post on almost any surface. And that includes uh, steel deck, uh, steel steps, wooden steps, wooden deck, or a concrete deck or steps or concrete ramp. And those surfaces can be horizontal, like a steps or deck, or they can be angled, like a ramp, because the adjustable post base allows you to install the vertical post in a vertical uh, orientation, even if the base itself is at an angle. Let me show you how it works. So inside the base, you have these teeth and two components, which we call the sleeves, that fit together to clamp the post and engage with the teeth inside the post base cover. So by adjusting the angle of the sleeves within the post base and engaging the teeth at various angles, you can achieve a clamping action on that post at a vertical orientation, even if the base itself is at an angle. So perhaps the most difficult surface to mount any post base on is concrete, because that requires drilling and installation of concrete anchors, also known as expansion bolts. So what we've done today is we've taken a block of concrete to simulate a concrete ramp and we've angled it at five degrees, as you would find in a commercial ramp with a one to 12 slope. Don't try to use a small cordless drill to make holes in concrete. Get yourself the biggest, strongest hammer drill you can find and purchase the best quality masonry bit you can afford. This one's 3 8 inch in diameter to match the 3 8 diameter of the anchor bolts we're about to install. The first thing to do is measure exactly where you want to place the posts on your concrete deck or ramp. I uh, like to use a pilot drill, a smaller a masonry drill, uh, to drill the holes first and then finish off with the, uh, the full-size drill so it doesn't wander too much. But another trick is to install one of the anchors and then bolt your base down and use the post base itself as a guide for the other three holes. The second thing to keep in mind is that you want to have the base oriented so that you can adjust the angle to match the angle of the ramp. And that means that these small weep holes that are used to evacuate water, if any should go into the base, are also an indicator of how to orient the base. So the holes have to be positioned so that they go in the direction of the ramp. Now, the last important thing uh, when installing the anchors is to get them at the correct depth. So to do that, you want to ensure that the holes are drilled far enough. In fact, best to drill them an inch longer than you're planning to install uh, the anchor itself. And to vacuum out the hole very well so that there's no dust or debris that's going to prevent the anchor bolt from going into its full depth. And by full depth, we want to install it so just enough of the threading sticks up out of the uh, hole to allow you to attach the base and grab the nut on the top of the threading, but not so much that it will protrude through the top of the post base and prevent installing the little caps afterwards. Here's a way to ensure that the anchors go in at the correct depth. We'll take one of the washers and nuts that are supplied with the anchor and screw it on so that 3 eighths of an inch of the threading is uh, protruding above the nut. We'll place it in the anchor hole, take our hammer, and tap it all the way down until it is fully seated. So once the expansion bolt is fully seated with a 3 eighths of an inch of threading exposed, now's the time to take a socket wrench with a size to match the nut and to tighten and tighten until the bolt is expanded in the hole and properly seated and ready to accept the post base. I'm going to remove this nut
remove the washer, and install the other three. The expansion bolts have been inserted and tightened, and the nuts have been removed. We're ready to install the post base. Here it is. These are the sleeves. Fit them together and insert the post. Now at this point, everything fits together loosely, and in fact the sleeves can no longer go all the way into the post base cap. But that's okay, because we're going to fit the whole thing loosely on the four nuts, and we're going to make sure to align the little hole at the bottom of the post base with the direction of the ramp. Okay, I've got that loosely installed. It's time to put on the nuts. Now, I'm using a long socket because they tend to have a thinner wall, and that'll give you more room to work inside the, uh, the round hole where the nuts fit. Start by tightening one slightly. I like to do the one that's across from it. The post, the post base, and the sleeves are installed loosely on the four anchor bolts. There's about a quarter inch gap between the post base and the concrete. And that means that it's all still adjustable uh, because the sleeves haven't engaged with the inside of the post base cover. Uh, so we're going to adjust it till it's vertical. And then we're going to begin to gradually tighten the four bolts. And that's going to lock the sleeves inside the cover at the correct angle. It's also going to grip the post tightly in a kind of a compression fitting. We're going to tighten these down in a cross pattern. And from time to time, we can check with a level that the post is vertical. If you happen to tighten it down and it's not at the angle you want, don't worry. You can readjust the angle by loosening the nuts all the way, by lifting up the assembly, and by placing a nut or something else rigid underneath to keep the base propped up while you tap down on the top of the post with a piece of wood or a rubber hammer. This will release the inner sleeves from the cap and allow you to readjust the angle. If you've got it installed and the angle is off by less than a degree, you can do a fine adjustment using shims that are supplied with the post base assembly. Just place the shims under one side or the other to do that micro adjustment. All four bolts have been tightened securely. The sleeves are grabbing the post. Everything feels solid. And the post is perfectly vertical. So since we're completely satisfied with this installation, we can proceed to the last step, which is installing these little plastic caps to cover the bolt holes.